okay let's look at alcohol metabolism let's say one fine day you have your beautiful peg once ethyl alcohol is in your blood it is metabolized to acetaldehyde by alcohol dehydrogenase now this acetaldehyde if it is accumulated in your blood it can produce flushing burning sensation headache and all sort of bad things but the good news is that acetaldehyde is rapidly converted to acetic acid by aldehyde dehydrogenase in normal condition now if you have sometime an idea to drink methyl alcohol methyl alcohol will be converted into formaldehyde by alcohol dehydrogenase and formaldehyde will be converted into formic acid which can produce ocular toxicity snowstorm of vision right now let's look at the drugs if you give patient disulfiram it will inhibit aldehyde dehydrogenase and acetaldehyde will accumulate in the body this is called disulfiram like reaction i mean the disulfiram reaction acetaldehyde will produce flushing burning headache etc right formapizol inhibits alcohol dehydrogenase which is helpful in methyl alcohol poisoning because we don't want formic acid to be accumulated in methyl alcohol poisoning but the mainstay of treatment in methyl alcohol poisoning is you give alcohol ethyl alcohol if you give ethyl alcohol that will saturate the enzyme store there will be no alcohol dehydrogenase to convert methyl alcohol into formaldehyde and hence there will be no formic acid formation right if a person is taking alcohol for 20 years and you give disulfiram that will accumulate acetaldehyde in the blood and that will cause disulfiram reaction right other drugs causing disulfiram like reaction are metronidazole sifoperazone sulfonylureas and griseofulvin these also inhibit these drugs also inhibit aldehyde dehydrogenase and methanol poisoning formapizol inhibits alcohol dehydrogenase enzyme not aldehyde dehydrogenase here is the alcohol dehydrogenase ergotamine works on alpha receptor and you know that alpha 1 receptors are present in vessels and on stimulation of that alpha receptor there will be vasoconstriction so that will be helpful in migraine and postpartum hemorrhage but if a patient is having ischemic heart disease you constrict the coronary vessel he will have myocardial infarction so that's bad for ischemic heart disease again a sort of basic question a combination of levodopa and carbidopa are used to inhibit the peripheral decarboxylation of levodopa please don't confuse levodopa with alpha methyl dopa which is a uh, anti hypertensive and a drug of choice in pregnancy pregnancy induced hypertension this question is about radioactive iodine the main mechanism by which radioactive iodine work is by emitting beta rays and this beta rays damage the substance of thyroid okay so there will be damage to the substance of thyroid and that person will get relief from hyperthyroidism or papillary carcinoma of thyroid next question is about wilson's disease what's wilson disease it's also called hepatolenticular disease there is deposition of copper in liver and basal ganglia hepatolenticular disease now if copper is deposited in basal ganglia you'll have a sort of movement disorder that's but natural and the movement this disorder this guy is having is wing beating tremors right when wilson's disease and the treatment is you chelate the copper ions that's by penicillamine right but you can also use trientine which is not potent than penicillamine but an alternative to penicillamine and it is well tolerated than penicillamine the things which you got to learn about trientine is it is an alternative to penicillamine and in non tolerant patient of penicillamine it's not given with iron within 2 hours of ingestion and it can cause iron deficiency anemia too